My name is Debbie Down, and thanks so much for joining me. I have a vinyasa flow for you today. So for your practice, make sure you have some water. Make sure you have space around the mat to move, to extend arms, legs, and I know some of us are in more confined spots than what we're used to. So you just wanna make sure you're not kicking a wall or you have more knee if you just lightly tap it, that you don't have to bend your knee too far, or crook your arm, or do anything fun. You can contort yourself, in other words. You don't wanna contort yourself as you're finding extension in length. Two blocks, if you got them, two books, if you need them, whatever. Whatever you can find around your house, whatever you have, wherever you happen to be, just something to give you your body just a little bit of an extra lift. So for today's practice, we're gonna be moving around, just nothing too crazy, but just enough to open you up to feel the flow, going into the hip space, going into our shoulders, and all of that good, happy stuff. So let's take this time to get ourselves set up at the top of the mat. We're gonna do a supported heart opener today. Now for music, feel free to listen to whatever you choose. I'm going to go music free myself today. So I want you to take your blocks with you. And if you don't have blocks, you can just lay down on your back or use books, whatever you have. Place one block. If you've got it underneath your shoulder blades at the lowest level, take the other block at the base of your skull. Same level or higher. Again, if you don't have your blocks, you can just come into a sutta bhava panasana. Takes me a moment here to get comfy. And I just want you to begin by walking your feet out to the edges of your mat. Just allow your knees to drop in. Kind of scoot yourself in so you feel nice and comfortable. So your tailbone can kind of elongate towards the top of your mat. And take your arms out to the side. I'm getting my watch set up here. I keep track of my calories, right? And turn your palms up to the sky. I just want you to roll your shoulders open and just sink down into the ground. Thighs and knees coming together. So there's no tension in your body whatsoever. Or at least as little as you can find, right? So soften your eyes, let them fall back into your head. You can extend your arms out a little bit wider as you get more comfy. Maybe take them even wider. Maybe they can go up and over your ears, but I want you to keep your palms flat on the ground. So right now, we're just stretching out through the chest, the side body pulling it down into the low back and the hips. And I want you to bring the soles of your feet to touch, Sutta Bhagavad Pranasana. And press your inner thighs down towards the ground. So you're nice and open here. This very expansive pose. Just tune into the sound of your breath in the beginning. Ujjayi Pranayama. Maybe you can reach your arms a little further over your ears now that your body is softened. Or not. Just notice what you notice about what's going on. Every day you've got a different body. So what worked for you yesterday or last week might not be working for you today. And just take a few more moments here to breathe, to open up. Slowly circle your arms all the way around. Ah, oh, that should feel good. Bring your thighs, your knees to touch. Rolling over onto the side. It doesn't matter which one. Take the blocks away. And then press yourself into a tabletop. So hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Let your body move around. Whatever feels good to you. Again, I'm just going to open up the whole body through this nice flow. Just creating that connection with your breath. Ah. Whenever you're ready, walk your hands under your shoulders and firm up your arms, firm up your legs. And as you press the tops of the feet down, it's almost like you're standing your tailbone behind you and then you pull the top of your head forward. Keeping your belly engaged, inhale, cow. So lift your heart space just a touch. It doesn't need to be a big move this first round. Exhale, catch into your chest and hollow belly and press. Inhale, cow, down, moving your heart forward. Exhale, catch into your chest and round. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cow. Inhale to neutral, and then slowly exhale, walking your hands to the top of your mat. Anapatasana, heart melting pose. So spread out your fingers and start to sink down into your shoulders, your heart space. And not just the front of your heart, feel the back of your heart kind of melt down too. Go your toes under and I want you to press back with the hips, press back with your heels. Hug your arms, your inner thighs. 
Use your palms to press back and lift your tailbone up. Now you should be able to feel the low belly engage, but also creating space between your ribs all the way down into your pelvis. Keeping your toes curled, walk your hands back about halfway, pushing up and then back into your downward facing dog. From here, you can take your dog for a walk, pat on your knees, move the hips, the shoulders, just kind of shimmy side to side, whatever feels good to you. I know I like to walk with my hips. Let your head shake out, back and forth. Ah. And press back. Draw your arms into here so you're rolling your biceps forward and start to push your heels out ever so slightly so you can feel your inner thighs wrap to the back of your mat, hollowing out your belly. From here, I want you to inhale, extend your right leg up, hug your inner thighs together and press back a little further. So we're just holding here in a split dog here here for a moment. So press your left heel down and then lift the back heel higher and start to point the toe. Now you can let the hip roll open if that feels okay to you, but drop your right shoulder down at the same time. Exhale, release the foot to the mat. Ah, feel that hip space you've started to create as you press. And then slowly inhale, extend your left leg up, three-legged dog, split dog. Keep pressing back, arms by your ears. And as your toes turn down, squeeze your inner thighs towards one another. Then lift your heel up higher. Keep pressing back. And then start to roll the hip open, toes to the sky, but drop your left shoulder down once again. Exhale, downward facing dog. Ah. Inhale, bring yourself forward into a plank pose. Now, Dasana, tuck your tailbone up ahead. Push down with the palms, exhale, downward facing dog, scooping press. Inhale, pull forward, finding your plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adding a little rotation, inhale, bring yourself forward, and as you exhale, pivot to the outer edge of the right heel, the inner arch to the left, push the mat away. So you're lifting the chest. So rotate your heart towards the mat, lift your hips high. So you feel the low belly engage, feeling that twist through the obliques. Then inhale, come back to center. Exhale, pivot to the outer edge of the left foot, inner arch to the right. So hug your arms, your inner thighs, and draw your heart towards the mat as you lift your hips, your tailbone up. And then inhale back to center. Exhale, downward facing dog. Don't worry, we're going to come back to that. Inhale, hinds, the balls of the feet, bend the knees. Exhale, make your way to the top. Inhale, halfway lift, pull your heart forward. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Bring your chin to your breastbone. Just hollow out your belly. Soften your knees, place your hands on your feet, and with an inhale, roll up. Take your time and shrug your shoulders open. So open up the chest. So I always like to sweep my hands behind me. Inhale, lift up. Find a steeple grip if you can. And just keep pulling and lifting, pressing your hips forward, lifting your heart nice and wide. Inhale, your arms up by your ears. Exhale, hands to heart space. Ah. Take a moment, roll your shoulders open and press your palms, spread out your fingers, spread out your toes, root down with the tailbone. Inhale, extend your arms, lift up with your mind's eye. Pull your arms behind your ears so you start to find some extension. Exhale, swan back down to the ground. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, left foot back, roll lunge. Hands flat on the mat, stepping into your plank pose. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, pivot to the outer edge of the right, inner arch to the left, and pull your heart forward as you lift your hips, your ribs higher. Inhale to center. Exhale, pivot to the outer edge of the left, inner arch to the right, hug your arms, lift your hips, and rotate your heart towards the mat. Inhale, back to center, and exhale, knees, chest, chin, come all the way down. Ah. Inhale, baby, curl over, flatten the tops of the feet. And as you press the feet, lift the knees, lift the heart, but push your pelvis down to the ground. Try to shrug your shoulders down your back. Exhale, bring your chin and your nose to the ground. Inhale, push yourself up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Ah. Take a moment to follow your knees, to let some of that tension go. Pulling yourself all the way to the back of the mat. Inhale, right leg extends, three-legged dog, split dog. Press. Hug your inner thighs together. Exhale, tiger curl. Inhale, extend your leg, reach it up. Exhale, tuck your knee in your nose, look ahead, and step through low lunge. Hug your arms or your thighs together. Inhale, right arm extends as the arm lifts, so does your tailbone. 
Exhale, reach your hand and step it all the way forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Uttanasana, pull chin to breastbone. Inhale, Tadasana, to reach to the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart space. Ah. Push your palms, inhale, extend your arms up by your ears. And as you exhale, find a deeper back bend, pulling your arms behind your ears. And it doesn't have to be a big move. Inhale, lift. Exhale, Uttanasana, or smile back down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, right foot back, low lunge. Flatten your hands, step it into your plank pose. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, pivot to the outer edge of the left, inner arch to the right. And as you inhale, extend your arms to the sky, side plank. Squeeze your shoulders, lift your hips. And kind of pull the bottom hip under just a little bit more. Exhale, hands to the mat, find your plank. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, pivot to the outside of the right foot, inner arch to the left. And inhale, left arm to the sky, Vazi Stasana. Hug your shoulders. Lift your hips, your ribs, and pull your bottom hip under. Notice how you stack a little bit better. Exhale, hands snap. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, drop your knees, your chest, your chin all the way down. Inhale, baby cobra, flatten your feet, pull forward. Now this time, hover your hands and turn your palms to the sky and kind of hug your elbows into your ribs. Exhale, all the way down. Curling your toes under, inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Ah. Take a moment to pedal your knees, to move the hips, to feel that release through the small of your back. And then gently draw your chest to your thighs, arms in by your ears. Inhale, left leg extends, split dog. Exhale, knee to nose, tighter curl. Inhale, extend your leg, press. Exhale, tuck your knee in your nose, pause, and then step through and lunge. Hug your arm, turn your thighs, inhale, left arm extends. And as the arm extends, lift your heart, lift your tailbone. Exhale, release your hand and step it all the way through. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Uttanasana, floor fold. Inhale, Tadasana, arms reach the sky, hands to prayer. Exhale, back bend, arms behind yours, but feel the lift through the low belly. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, swan diver, Uttanasana, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your left foot back, low lunge. Flatten your hands, stepping back into your plank pose. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Press back. Hollowing out your belly. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, tuck your knee to your nose, tiger curl. Look ahead and breathe in. Exhale, step through, low lunge, right by your thumb. Hug your arms, your inner thighs together, and then drop your back knee down, top of the foot to the mat. Inhale, arms reach up. Take a moment here, turn your pinky fingers in and drop your shoulders, drop your tailbone, and start to push your left hip forward, taking your gaze all the way up past your hands. Bring your hands to prayer and see if you can go a little deeper. Exhale, swan back down. Curl your toes, lift your knee, inhale, right arm extends. Exhale, reach your hands, step it through. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Tadasana, reach up. Hands to prayer, exhale, into the back bend. Lift through the belly, the heart, pulling your arms behind your ears. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, swan diver, Uttanasana down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, right foot back, low lunge. Step it back, find your plank. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, low. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog and press. Hollowing out your belly. Inhale, left leg extends, split dog. Exhale, tuck your knee to your nose, tighter curl, and push the mat away, looking ahead. Exhale, step through, low lunge. Drop your back knee on top of the foot. Inhale, press the moon, arms reach up. Turn your pinky fingers in, dropping the shoulders, dropping your tailbone, and start to pull your right hip forward to the top of your mat so you really get that big stretch across your hip flexor, your psoas muscles. Take your gaze up, and then bring your hands to prayer so you can find just a little bit more extension, more lift through the ribs. Exhale, hands down, from your foot coming into a low lunge. Inhale, left arm in the sky, just reach. Really open up wide. Exhale, your hand down, step it through. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, Uttanasana, fold. Bend the knees, sit back. Inhale, chair pose. Just pull your arms up by your ears. Exhale, your arms into a goal pose and press your palms back so your heart opens. And then sit back into your heels, let your tailbone go long. And it's always going to feel like you've got this little C curve here. So press your tailbone under the body. Ah, maybe you can lift your toes. Inhale, rise up to last my hands to prayer over your head. Exhale, back and arms behind your ears. Inhale, lift. Exhale, Swananda down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, flow through your chaturanga, staying with your breath. Hopefully by now your body's a little bit more warm, pliable. I want you to press back with your chest, hollowing out your belly. Inhale, right leg extends all the way to the side. Press back. Exhale, step through, low lunge right by your belly. Drop your back knee and top of the foot comes down. Inhale, arms reach to the sky. Press it in. Exhale, right hand glides back. Gaze follows your hand. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, left hand glides back again. Gaze just follows your hand nice and easy. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, right hand glides back. Pause, squeeze your shoulders. Pull your inner thighs towards one another. And then lean back slightly like you're trying to touch your right hand to the wall behind you. Then place your right hand at the small of your back, look forward, flip your front palm to the sky. Inhale, exalt a crescent. So you're pulling your arm by your ear and you're using your hands to push your tailbone, but especially that left hip forward and breathe in. Ooh. Exhale, your hand comes down. Make your way into a low lunge. Now your hand is still on the small back, so inhale, roll your right shoulder open and lift your tailbone into your hand. And then start to pull your right hip in. So everything draws to the midline. You can keep rolling and opening up even wider. Exhale, release your hand down. Inhale, press and high lunge. Bring your front knee forward. Tailbone down and then lean back, pushing your back heel away. So everything's engaged. Everything's helping you lift up to the sky. Exhale, worry to open. Gaze down your hands. Inhale. Reverse, coming into a peaceful warrior, letting your left hand glide down your leg, pulling your arm even closer to your ear. Look up. Look up past your fingertips. Exhale, Shatnam, Dandasana, just flowing with your breath. Ah. Big exhale as you knock yourself all the way to the back of your mat. Take a moment, draw your arms in closer. And then push your heels out so your inner thighs wrap to the back of your mat. Hollowing out your belly. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, tuck your knee to your nose, finding your tiger curl, looking ahead. Step through, low lunge. Drop your back knee and top of the foot all the way down to the ground. Inhale, press the move. Pause, shoulders, tailbone drops. I want you to get nice and centered, everything hugging in. Exhale, your left hand glides back. Let your gaze just follow the hand. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, right hand glides back. Allow your gaze to follow your hands. Inhale, lift. Exhale, left hand glides back. And here you pause and hold. Squeeze your shoulders. Hug your inner thighs together. Now bring your chin over your shoulder and lean back. It's almost like you're trying to tap that hand to the wall, your left hand. And what we're really doing is we're just stacking the spine from the top of the head down into the tailbone. Then slowly bring your hand to the small of your back so your tailbone grows even longer and you look ahead, turning your palm up to the sky. Inhale, exalt your crescent, so sweep your arm up by your ear, but use your hand to push your tailbone and especially push your right hip forward so you feel that big reach and stretch. Exhale, hand comes down under your shoulder, curling your back toes to come into a lunge. Inhale, left shoulder opens and pull the tailbone up into your hand. Now what happens here is the left hip kicks out so you draw it in and keep squeezing your inner thighs, opening up even wider so everything's pulling into the midline of the body. Exhale, hand comes down, you bring your foot. Inhale, press and high lunge, so it's a lot of balance as you lift, bringing your front knee forward, allowing your tailbone to drop. Then pull your arms by your so you're leaning back, pushing your right heel away. Now that everything's engaged, you can use that energy to help you lift. Exhale, warrior two, just open even wider. Hug your shoulders, hug your hips, gazing past your hand. Inhale, reverse. Finding your peaceful warrior. Letting your right hand lie down. 
Drawing your left arm closer to your inner knee. Look all the way up past your fingertips. Exhale, chaturanga, namdasana, taking your time as you follow your breath. And you can always step it straight back into a downward facing dog. Ah. Feeling all that space that you're creating in your shoulders, your hips, your side body. From the top of your head all the way into your heels. Inhale, high onto the balls of the feet, bend your knees. Exhale, make your way to the top of your mat. Feet open, hip distance. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Now bend your knees. Take your hands and take your hands wrapping around your booty. Right here. Roll your shoulders open and drop back into your chair. So start to press your forearms into the thighs and sit back even deeper. So you can release your hands or keep them wrapped around and lift your toes. Lift your chest and then let your tailbone go long. Start to press out with the thighs or push in with your forearms just a little bit deeper. And then slowly rise up into a chair pose. Staying low, sitting back into your heels, turn your pinky fingers in. Exhale, go post your arms. Ah. Now press back with the palms with your chest. Sit back deeper through the hips as you tuck your tailbone under. This should not be an easy place to be. And now exhale, bring your forearms onto your thighs and sit back once again. Bring your hands to prayer and press. Press the palms. Hug your inner thighs, even though they're not touching, and sit back even deeper. Keeping your heart lifted, shoulders down. Now extend your arms out in front of you, coming into our awkward pose. So sit back and lift your heart space. Your thighs should be on fire right about now. Look straight ahead. Inhale, rise up to Vasana with your arms by your ears. Oh, hands to prayer overhead. Exhale, find your back and lift up through the low belly. Anchor the shoulders and lift the belly even higher. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, swan back down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, shatter on the dumbbells and just follow your breath. Ah, take a moment to press yourself back, to draw your arms or your thighs closer, but push your heels out. And feel that extension all the way up through your tailbone. Inhale, right leg extends. Exhale, roll open into a scorpion. Drop your right shoulder down as the left heel presses into the mat. Exhale, bring your knee to your right elbow. Inhale, extend your leg up and back. Exhale, bring your knee to your right tricep. So a little bit higher. Ah. Inhale, extend your leg up and back. Exhale, bring your knee up to your shoulders, high as you can go. Shoulders above the wrists and hug your arms or your thighs. And then gently sweep your knee over to the right. Ah. Exhale, over to the right. Excuse me. And inhale to the left. Extend that leg out to the side. Hug your arms or your thighs. Look ahead. Inhale into a rising star. Press and lift. Draw your tailbone under the body. Exhale, hands to the mat. Right knee to your chest and inhale, extend your leg. Exhale, step through, low lunge. Drop your back knee, top of the foot. Inhale, crescent moon arms, reach up to the sky. Exhale, right hand glides back. Hug your arms, hug your inner thighs, try to touch the wall behind you. Right hand to the small of your back, look forward. Inhale, exalted crescent. Press your hips to that left, your left hip forward, your tailbone. Exhale, bring your left elbow to the outside of your thigh. Bring your left hand over to your right hip to push it in. And then roll your right shoulder open. So basically, we're in a big twist here. You're trying to press yourself between two planes of thighs by keeping your left hip pulled in, but opening your right shoulder, your right hip and opening your right shoulder even wider. Exhale, release your hands down. Bring your foot. Ah, coming into your low lunge. Inhale, crescent, high lunge, all the way up. <sighs> Exhale, right hand glides back, let your gaze follow your hand. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, left hand glides back, gaze follows your hand. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right hand glides. Squeeze your shoulders, squeeze your hips, and drop forward. 
Push your back heel away and draw your right hip in, gazing all the way past your hand. Right hand to the small back, tailbone lengthens. Look forward, front palm to the sky, inhale, exalted. Ah, pull it all the way. Keep reaching, keep stretching. Exhale, hand down. Push into the mat, roll yourself open, stay here, or step it back into a side plank, stack your feet. Now use your palm to push your bottom hip under, then slowly extend your arm. Lift your leg if you choose. Exhale, step it through, low lunge. Flatten your back foot. Inhale, warrior one, then slow rise to the top. Tailbone down, pull your left shoulder forward, and really press into the outer edge of your back foot. And keep trying to pull the left shoulder forward, maybe look up with your mind's eye. Exhale, warrior two, open it out. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Arm right by your look up, past your hand. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Again, feel all that space that you are creating. <sighs> Opening up the shoulders, the hips, the side body, all the way down into your low back. Take a moment, press arms closer, inner thighs closer still. Push your heels out so you really feel the opposition of the pose. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, roll open into your scorpion, drop the left shoulder, push down with your right heel. Keep pressing, I want you to open up a little wider through your hips. Exhale, left elbow, give it a tap. Inhale, extend your leg up and lengthen the leg long. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. A little bit higher on the arm if you can. Inhale, extend your leg and reach. Exhale, all the way out to the shoulder. Hug your arms, feel your back heel push away. And now slowly sweep that knee over to the right, push. Take it over to the left and push. Take it over to the right and extend your leg out to the side, hug your arms, turn your thighs. Look at that, stay here or inhale, rise and start. Push your bottom hip under, your tailbone under, so you really can reach up. Exhale, your hand down, knee to your chest. Inhale, extend your leg to the side. Stretch. Exhale, step through, low lunge by your thumb. Drop your back knee, top the foot. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, left hand glides back. Squeeze your shoulders, your hips, try to touch the wall behind you, chin over your shoulder. Then hand to the small of your back, look forward, palm up, inhale, exalt to crescent. Oh, the way. keep reaching, pressing your hips forward. Exhale, bring your right elbow outside your thigh. Bring your hand to your right hip so you can push it in as you roll the left shoulder open. So we're in a big twist here. Basically, you're in a supported revolve pressing so you really can find opening space. Keep pressing your right hip in, opening, right hip, left hip in, opening up through the left shoulder. Take a deep breath. Exhale, release your hands. <sighs> so good, right? Push down into the palms, curl your toes. Find your little lunge, inhale, crescent. Anjaneyasana, rise on up, take a moment. Get centered. Pull your arms by your ears, exhale, left arm glides back. So we're taking that series just a little deeper. Inhale, left arm. Exhale, right hand glides back, gaze follows your hand. Inhale, left arm. Exhale, left hand glides back, pause, squeeze your shoulders. Push your back heel away. Now draw your left hip in and maybe look past your hand. Left hand to the small of your back. Let the tailbone go long down. Look forward, flip your palm. Inhale, exalt to press and pull your arm all the way up by your ear. Keep reaching, push your right hip forward just a little bit more. Exhale, hand down. Ah. Inhale, roll the left shoulder open, lift your tail. Stay here or step it back with your hand on the small of your back for side plank classes to So use your hand to push your right hip under. Then feel free to extend your arm. Feel free to extend your leg. It is your choice. Hollow out your belly and breathe in. Exhale, hand down. Step through. Low lunge. Doesn't matter how many time, how long it takes to get there. Flatten your back. Inhale, where you want. Bringing your front knee forward, letting your tailbone drop. Then gently draw your right shoulder forward. The hips gonna follow. And start to press into the outer edge of your back right foot. Lean back slightly, but draw your right shoulder forward. Knee even more. Keep pressing and lengthening. Maybe you look up with your mind's eye. Exhale, warrior two. Ah. 
hug your shoulders. Inhale, reverse your warrior all the way up and back. Arm right by your ear. Exhale, Chaturanga, Dandasana. Fill in with your breath. There's no rush at all. Exhale, as you knock yourself back. Hollow out your belly, pressing your chest to your thighs. Inhale, high on the balls of the feet, bend your knees, take your time. Exhale, make your way to the top of your mat. Feet open, hip distance once again. Inhale, halfway out. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold in two. Bend your knees, sit low. So my hands are still on the mat, so are yours. Sit back, shoulders down, tail on long, and just slowly extend your arms, finding your upper pose once again. Shoulders down, gaze past your hand and hollow your belly. Sit nice and low. Lift your toes off the mat, but press down into the ball joint of the big toe and the ball joint behind the pinky toe. Inhale, rise up. Arms by your ears. Exhale, your arms by your side. Take a moment, roll your shoulders all the way up and back and down, then extend your arms straight ahead. Bend your knees and bring your thighs, your knees to touch, push your heels out wide. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, upward pose once again, this time deeper. Again, thighs and knees stay together. Lift your heels off the mat and bring your hips down as close to your heels as you can. And I can get mine pretty low, but it just depends on your body. Lean back, shoulders in line with your hips. Now squeeze your inner thighs together and lift your hips up one inch, but drop your knees forward one inch. And then sit back a little closer. Hollow your belly and then lift your hips up one more inch and drop your knees forward ever so slightly. Pushing into the ball joint of the big toe, ball joint of the big uh, foot, lift up, and exhale your arms by your side. I want you to toe heel your feet to touch. Inhale, right into a chair. Pinky fingers in and exhale, sit back into your heels. Inhale, lift your arms up by your ears, gaze straight ahead. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold, let it go. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Take your time, just following your breath, noticing how you feel. Ah. Hollow out your belly. Draw your arms in closer as your heels press wider. Inhale, right leg extends to the sky. Exhale, roll it open into your scorpion, right shoulder down. Take a deep breath. Exhale, right tricep. Inhale, extend your leg, push up. Exhale, right shoulder. Hug your arms, your inner thighs. Inhale, extend your leg, long press. Exhale, right shoulder. Once again, hug it tight, look ahead, and then sweep it over to the left. Over to the right, make sure you tap, and over to the left. Tap, hug your arms to your thighs, pivot onto the other edge of the back foot. Rise and start with your leg extended. Now you can always bring your foot back to the mat. Hug your shoulders, lift your hips. So you're really pulling your bottom hip under and lift your leg even higher. Exhale, your hand down as you pull your knee in. Then slowly extend your leg long so you feel all that space. Exhale, step through. Low lunge, right by your thumb. Inhale, crescent high lunge. Push your back to the way. I want everything firm and strong. Hug your arms, your inner thighs. Exhale, right hand lies back. Hug your arms, your inner thighs. Bring your chin up your right shoulder, even as you try to tap the wall behind you. Then place the hand on the small of your back. Look forward, flip your front palm. Inhale, exalted crescent. Push your left forward, deepening the bend to the front knee. Exhale, elbow outside the thigh. Use your palm again, push your left hip forward, and then bring your left hand to your right hip and draw it in. Open your right shoulder. Feel your back heel push. You can look all the way behind you, maybe. And you can stay right here. You can bring your hands to prayer. But I actually find keeping my hand on my tail and my hand on my hip helps me go deeper into this pose. Feel your back heel press away. Exhale, release your hands. Low lunge. Flatten your back foot down. Inhale, for your one. Ah, draw your left shoulder forward. Exhale, your arms behind you. Inhale, open up. 
Look up to the sky, push the pinky to the back, foot to the mat. Exhale, humble warrior, right shoulder to the inside of the knee. Chin to your breastbone. Now pull your right hip in and your left hip forward. And keep pressing into the outer edge of your back foot. Now notice how your right knee is bowing out. I want you to draw it in ever so slightly as you push your knuckles to the sky. And look forward. Extend your arms straight ahead and inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. <sighs> inhale, reverse your warrior all the way up and back. Exhale, extend a side angle. Place your hand down, feel free to use one of those blocks. Reach your arm all the way over your ear. Now pull your shoulder down and press into the outer edge of your back foot. So keep reaching and lengthening. Open up your heart a little bit wider. Exhale, your hand comes down. Inhale, right arm to the sky. Exhale, side plank, Lazi Stasana. Lift your hips to your ribs. Take your arm over your ear. Lift your leg to the sky and then bend your knee. Pull your knee towards you. Maybe you step back, maybe find your wild thing. Lift your hips, your ribs, gaze past your hand. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Ah, big exhale as you press back. You've got your flow on your left side. Ah, how out you going? Take a moment to inhale through your nose. And exhale, let it out however you choose. Through the nose, the mouth, with, that, with a big sigh. Ah. Start to pull your shoulder blade down. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, scorpion, roll it open. Push down with the left shoulder, lift your knee shin higher. And then gently bring your left knee to your left tricep. So higher than we did the first time. Inhale, back into your scorpion. Exhale, up to your shoulder. Inhale, and lengthen your leg, press back. Exhale, take it up to the shoulders, high as you can. Make sure your shoulders are over your wrist, and then sweep your knee over to the right. Take it to the left, tap, take it to the right. Now pivot onto the outer edge of your back foot. Notice how your knee is still in your chest. Extend your arm up as you extend your leg out, and maybe you can keep it hovering. So hug your arms and your thighs, lift the bottom leg up and gaze past your hand. Exhale, release, knee to your chest. Inhale, extend your leg long. Exhale, step through, low lunge. Ah. Inhale, crescent onto the asana. Take a moment, get yourself set up, hug your arms and your thighs. So everything's engaged and you're feeling the lift through the low belly because that's what's holding you in space. Exhale, left hand lies behind you. Hug your shoulders, hug your inner thighs, and look back at your hand. Left hand to the small of your back, looking forward, flip your front palm, inhale, exalted crescent. Pull, press your back heel away so you feel the lift. Exhale, bring your right elbow to the outside of your thigh. Now bring your hand to your right, to your left hip. Push it in as you lift your tailbone. So you really have to feel your left heel push away. Now you can roll the shoulder open. You can always go to bringing your hands to prayer when you revolve, but I actually find this takes me deeper into a twist. Pushing my hip in, but opening the shoulder. Look, ooh, I'm gonna lose it there. <laughs> Trying to look at too many things. Look all the way behind you. From here, just slowly release your hands down. Bring your foot, get centered in your lunge. Then flatten your back foot down, press into the outer edge. Inhale, where you're one. You're ever draw some more, right again. Ah, take a moment to set yourself up, right shoulder forward, then hands foot behind you. Inhale into a back bend. Ah, pressure is forward, but lift up through the heart space. Exhale, humble warrior hinge. Bring your shoulder to the inside of your knee and your chin to your breastbone. Then gently draw your left hand's hip into the midline and pull your right hip forward. Noticing how your left knee bows out, try to hug it in just a little bit more, pushing your knuckles to the sky. And then take your gaze forward, extend your arms straight ahead, slowly lift up where you want. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, peaceful warrior, drawing your arm right by your ear. Look up past your hand. Exhale, extend the side angle, feel free to use a block 
under your left hand as you reach your right arm over your ear. Now draw your shoulder down, lift up through the heart space, really pressing into the outer edge of your back foot. So you've got all this opening, all this space you're creating through your side bodies. And then slowly release your right hand down under your shoulder. Inhale, left arm to the sky. Exhale, step it back, side plank. Pull your knee towards you. Open and root. You can stay here or flip it behind you. Coming into wild things, so notice how I'm giving you all these options. You can pick what works for you. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Chaturanga. Dandasana. Exhale as you press yourself back. Ah, take a moment to hollow your belly. Inhale through your nose. Open your mouth and exhale, just let it out. Ah. Bend your knees, look ahead and breathe in. Exhale, slowly make your way to the top of your mat. You can walk, you can step, you can float. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale as you fold. Now we've got one last little thing to do. Just one. I'm going to move my blocks just so you can see me. So my knees are bent. I'm sitting back nice and low. Take your left hand, take it to the outside of your right foot, maybe it's your ankle or your calf. Whatever works for you. So roll up onto the ball of the right foot, just to give your hand a little bit more space. And then step your left foot out ever so slightly. Now you can take your left hand to the inner arch again. You can wrap a hand around your calf. And right here you might be going, that's too much for me. And that's okay. You might just want to watch. So pull your shoulders down, look ahead. Now, shifting your weight into your left foot, pull your right knee all the way up. Yeah, so you're moving into a single leg of Tadasana. And if you couldn't figure the way I could do, you just lift up any way you choose. Now, roll your shoulders. And so you're kind of framing your knee and your thigh with your arms. I want you to extend your leg out if you can. Now, if you need just a little bit more, holding on with your left foot, release your right hand, extend it behind you. Bring your chin over your shoulder, look past your hand, lift the front leg up there, and then slowly reach your right hand back around under the arm, bend your elbows, pull your chest to your thighs. Take a deep breath, and as you exhale, bend the knee, release and come all the way back down. Ah, I want you to paddle your knees. Paddle your knees, let some of that go, and then bend, sit back like you were moving into chair. Take your right hand to the outside of the left foot. Maybe it's your ankle or your calf, whatever you can reach. And then step your right foot out just a touch. Roll up onto the ball of the left foot so you really can get a good grip. And then sweep your left hand to the inner arch or whatever you did on the other side. Maybe it's the calf, the shin, whatever you can reach. Or maybe you're just going to hold on and join me in a moment. From here, shoulders down, tail on so your belly's really engaged. Shift your weight to your right foot and slowly pull your left knee up. So you're framing your knee and your thigh with your arms. You can hang out here. You can extend your leg long in front of you. Toes to your face. Hold here if you choose, but you can also extend your left arm behind you, coming into a twist. If you hug your shoulders, maybe you can bring your chin all the way over your left shoulder. Look back, hugging your inner thighs. And then slip your left hand to the inner arch, the ankle, shin, whatever you got, bend elbows and draw your chest to your thighs. Ah. Bend your knee. Slowly release it down. Ah. Paddle your knees out. Paddle your knees out. And then slowly, 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 I want you to walk your right foot out to the side, left leg long behind you. Coming into a lizard pose. So take one of your blocks if you've got them. Or you can take two blocks. Why not? You want to be up a little higher? So rest your forearms on top of your block. So draw your knee into your shoulder, your right knee into your shoulder, and gently draw the left hip forward. Now I find this to be a pretty intense pose, so you have every option to stay here, or you can drop your back knee. That'll take you a little deeper into your right hip, but if you're like me and you need an extra stretch through your psoas, this part of the thigh, where your thigh meets your pelvis and your quad, maybe your hamstring, this is a good place to be too. And trust me, it still gets nice and deep into your right hip. Now, if you have a flexibility, or once you've been here for a while, you can bring your forearms all the way down to the ground. 
So you have options here, that's why we have blocks. We use them to help find space, and then when we don't need it anymore, because our body has muscle memory, we just take it away. From here, slowly walk your hands underneath you, and then take your right hand outside of your right foot. Start to snuggle your right foot over to the left and drop your knee or shin down. So keep your knee wide. And I find as soon as I do that, you can see in this video, my heel pulls back to my hip. That's perfectly fine. Don't worry about keeping your shin square. Not everybody's knee has the flexibility to do that or their hip. So we're coming into a half pigeon pose. Slowly surrender yourself down. Again, feel free to use the blocks under your forearms. Maybe you just rest your mind's eye on your thumbs or your palms. Maybe you're able to extend your arms all the way out and find some kind of twist. So there's all kinds of options. You just do what feels good to you. But wherever you happen to be, nudge your left hip forward as you pull your right hip back. And that subtle little shift is going to take you deeper. And I think that's one of the things that yoga teaches us. It teaches us not to ignore these places. These places we try to forget about. Because that's where we're storing things. That's where we're holding on to things that no longer serve us. And the body instantly wants to take us out of it because the body just goes to what it knows. It says, I know how to ease tension. Let's do it this way. So that's when your mind takes charge and you're like, no, I want to go there. I want to release this stuff and let it go because it's the stuff that doesn't serve you anymore. So just let yourself hang out here. And just another breath or two. Allow your body to soften. Then slowly walk your hands towards you. So you can shift your weight into your right hip and turn your left toes to the sky. Bring the sole of the foot to your inner thigh. Ah. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, side bend over. So you can rest your arm on your leg, you can bring it to your inner thigh, it just depends on your flexibility. But I want you to inhale and open your heart, pulling your arm behind your ear, and start to press your right hip, your right inner thigh to the mat. And just feel all the space that you're creating through your ribs, through your sides, through your obliques. And then gently allow yourself to twist over to your left. Feel free to cross your wrists, grabbing onto the foot, the ankle, the calf. And as you inhale, look past your toes. So you don't want you to get nice and long here. Now you can fold. Bend your elbows. You can use that energy to draw your chest towards your thigh. Gently drop your right shoulder a little lower. And keep pressing both hips into that as well as your right inner thigh. Relax your face, your shoulders. Taking another deep breath in. And exhale, release your hands, walk it all the way towards you. So now you're going to have a seat on your left hip. Swivel your right leg around. Press yourself up and work your foot over to your left side of your mat. So we're coming into that as you pose on the other side. Now me, I'm going to grab a block because that's what I do. So if that's you, grab one. Or maybe two, whatever you did. All right. So let's start curling your back toes under. And you can come down, stay in your palms, or bring your forearms onto your block. That's what I always like, forearms on the block. Start to press your knee into your shoulder. Push your right hip forward. At the same time, you're pushing your right heel away. It's a very intense stretch. Again, you have that option to bring your knee down, let the leg go long. That's going to bring a little bit more focus solely into your left hip. But if you're like me, you need it all. Keep your leg long and just breathe. So you're breathing into your psoas muscles. Kind of attaches your pelvis to your top of your thigh for the easiest way to explain it. But it also stretches out your quads, your hamstring, as well as your left hip space. So just take a few breaths here, nice and easy. Maybe let the shoulders go down. And if you're softened enough, maybe you can come down onto the forearms without your block. Just depends on your body. And slowly walk your hands towards you. Take your left hand outside of the foot and walk your left foot over to the right. Bringing your shin down, knee to the side of your mat, and bring your back knee down if you're not already there. Again, you can see, let me move my block, that my heel comes 
closer to my hip, not quite as far on this side, but every side's a little bit different. Don't ever feel like you have to square your shin with the front. Again, not everybody's knee or hip has the flexibility to do so. Stay as you are, spread yourself down. On your forearms, on your lap, arms long, maybe rest your mind's eye on your thumb. I like to do that because then I can give my mind's eye a little massage and get rid of any tension that you're holding on to in your brow. Now gently nudge your right foot forward and the left hip back, taking yourself even deeper into this pose. Because the hips hold on to a lot of stuff. And again, you are in charge about how deep it is that you want to go. And it's great to go into these places. It may not feel like it, but it really is. Because disease is disease. It's your body being out of sorts. So whatever you're feeling, any resistance you have in your hips or wherever it happens to be in this pose, is just resistance. It's discomfort. It's being out of sorts. Your body's not at ease. So just breathe into it so you can let that icky, excuse me, shitty stuff, just let it go because you don't need it. It's no longer serving you. If it was, it wouldn't be creating this pain, this disconnect. And just allow yourself to soften with a few more breaths. Just like anything, you can fight it. But if you let yourself breathe into it and let go of the resistance, you finally go deeper into the pose. It really wasn't as bad as what you thought. Now slowly walk your hands towards you and have a seat on your left hip. Right leg out by your side, toes up and pull your heel, left heel a little closer. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, side bend over. So you can rest your arm on your thigh, bring it to your inner thigh, whatever you did. On your right, that's what I want you to do here. Now lift your heart space and pull your arm behind your ear and start to press your left hip, your left inner thigh down. So you really feel the space, probably more so in your left side body than your right, but you should still feel some right through here unless you're totally collapsing. But opening your heart to the sky is gonna help you keep your lift. Then gently, slowly rotate over to the right. Cross your ankles, cross your ankles, cross your hands if you choose, or not, that's just an option. Grabbing onto the foot, the ankle, the calf, the thigh, whatever you can reach. Now inhale, pull your heart all the way forward. Left your tailbone go long. Exhale, bend the elbows, using the energy of the arms to pull your chest towards your thighs. Then gently drop the left shoulder forward and take yourself even deeper into the pose. Now here, press both hips down to the ground, even your left inner thigh. And just breathe into it. And allow your body to soften. And gently release your hands by your side. Walk yourself all the way back. I don't know about you, but I'm a little spent. So let's swivel around. Plant your feet at the top of the mat. Scoop yourself forward. So if you have your blocks, grab them. Bring them with you. Just bring them with you. Place them by your sides. Arms come down, palms face mass, slide your heels to your hips, and as you inhale, roll it up. Inhalate your fingers to the webbing and walk your shoulders under your chest. And I want you to feel the lift and feel what's happening, and then slowly release it down. From here, take a block between your inner thighs, and then walk your feet a little closer. Because without a block, the body kind of just goes bleh. It opens to the hips, the knees, it gets rid of tension. So slide your heels closer towards you, maybe you can touch them, maybe not, just depends on how you're doing with that block. Spread your fingers, spread your toes, inhale, find the bridge, and press your thighs together. Now, interlace your fingers once again, and walk your shoulders into your chest. And notice how much more space that you actually have. Then reach out and find your other block. Place it under the smaller back, low, medium, or high. I'm going to go for medium today for myself. Take the block away from your thighs and take it away, far away. Now you can just hang out exactly as you are. Or you know me, I like to create lots of space. You can slowly walk your feet forward. Maybe you open your arms out wider. Maybe 
If you're like me, you can bring your arms to a boat closer all the way over your ears. And just allow your body to melt down into a puddle. So this block is supporting your lower back. And I love this pose because it creates space from the top of your head all the way down into your fingers, into your toes, and everything in between. So just allow your body to hang out. Just allow your breath to cycle through a few more times. And then slowly draw your arms down by your side. Walk your feet towards you. Rolling up onto the ball of the foot so you can lift your hips, taking your block away, gently release. Again, just push that block out to the side so it's not in your way. Draw your knees to your chest. Give yourself a big loving hug. Maybe rock side to side. Coming into a happy baby. Pressing down on the inner of the outer arches. Dropping your chin. Bring your tailbone down to the ground. And just pause at this place. Press your shoulders into the mat. So you really feel everything from shoulder to shoulder. To hip to hip. From the base of your soul into your tailbone, and press into the mat. Gently release, draw your right knee and your left leg long. Inhale, as you pull your knee in your nose, kind of tuck it up there. Exhale, twist, guide it across. Pull in your bottom hip under. Right arm out, palm up or palm down, or even a full post on whatever helps you keep your shoulders on the mat. It's whatever works for you this morning. Now you can extend your right leg out, maybe grab onto the foot and pull the toes a little closer towards you. That's going to take you deeper into your IT band as well as your low back and hip space. Then gently bend the knee, come back into center. Changing your legs, left knee and right leg long. And as you inhale, top and scoop it up. Exhale, spine twist, down the leg across, tucking your bottom hip under, if you choose. Left arm out, palm up or down, or roll post your arm, whatever helps you keep your shoulders connected to the mat. And just breathe in all that space. Now you can hang up here, I have to move myself a little bit. Or you can start to extend your left leg out, maybe grab onto the outer edge of the foot, and draw the toes a little up closer towards you. And again, this is going to take you deeper into that IT band as well as your hip, the side body, and the low back. Just whatever you're in the mood for today, just giving you an extra option. And then slowly pull your knee in towards you, come back to center. And take a moment to pull both knees into your chest and give yourself a hug. And then extend your arms and your legs coming into your shavasana. So let your fingers and toes curl and just drop your chin forward. Hang out here for a few breaths. And just try to allow everything to slip away. Please stay in your shavasana as long as you can. Otherwise, come join me and take your arms over your ears, your legs long. Give yourself a good morning stretch. So go arms around, knees to your chest. Once again, giving yourself a loving hug. It's a beautiful way to end your practice. So love yourself up just for showing up on your mat. Rock up and have some. Sit however you choose and bring your hands to your heart space. And take a moment to close your eyes and feel your thumbs connect with your breastbone. And just want you to remember your energy. And remind yourself that you are power, your strength, your resilience. 
but you're also peace and forgiveness. You're also happiness and joy, friendship, love. We all are, all the way to the very center of our being. We are love at the core of all. And it's from my heart to yours, the highest in me sees, honors, respects, loves, believes, and the highest in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for bringing your energy onto your mat. As always, your energy lifts me up, and I hope my energy is doing the same for you. So until I see you on the mat once again,